Scorpio. Scorpio! I needed to say your name twice because what? Okay. <clears throat> I'm just, I just had the craziest cough. My throat is like, good. Okay, so it's a general read. It's not going to resonate with everyone. Um, oh, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I love you. Um, yeah, it's a general read. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, um, and Scorpio. Uh, if you have Scorpio placements in your chart, that type of, type of energy. Maybe you're just dealing with a Scorpio or you just resonate with the title and, you know, then this is for you. Take what applies, leave what doesn't. However, you might want it to apply to you. <laughs> but, so when I first started shuffling, these two were the two cards that I split the deck at. And as I'm going through them, and they literally flew out together. And then now we have these two. And usually I just kind of like to sit with these first for a second. But this looks amazing. Okay, so the last time I checked in with y'all, you know, you guys <clears throat> might have been like questioning a connection that was coming through. Or um, like wondering like if you deserve it. But like... I just feel like this is clear. It's like somebody's in love. Like there's a new beginning here. And it was, I feel like there's some sort of hesitation still. Because I feel like, you know, you guys get a little leery. Which is totally understandable. Sort of. But I feel like I should use these. This time. Um, oh, wow. The four cups in reverse and with the ten of cups. So a lot of you guys are getting out of that. You guys are finding like a new happiness. Like... Things are really lining up like Venus. That is love that this is like Ace of Wands, Empress, the sun and the star. Like this was meant to be whatever this is. It's meant to be. And this can be like a business as well. Yeah, there's definitely like victory for, for you guys. Like this is total happiness. Could be dealing with a Leo, could be dealing with an Aries or an Aquarius um, or you guys might actually be dealing with somebody who has, or you have Venus in Aries or something along those lines. Venus in Aquarius. Like I said, if the title resonates and it's for you, it's not necessarily for Scorpio, but I was thinking about Scorpio. You guys are coming out of, yeah. Like there is a total, like it's almost like catching you guys by surprise. Nine of Wands. Like giving it like one more shot look at that under under here is like the moon you get the sun and the moons you have literally the sun moon and the stars like somebody wants to give you that i feel and i feel like spirit wants to give you that because you guys love so deeply and like intimacy is like your thing and you know this is basically cuffing season ain't it right <laughs> let's see what we got wow yeah, four, four, four. So definitely like stability coming through. I wouldn't, if you're worried about your finances, don't. Like if you feel like things are a little shaky, don't worry about it. Because you're going to actually end up creating that. Eight of Wands. Things are moving fast. Like that's double the energy. Four of Wands to the Eight of Wands. Like something's coming in very quick. Could be, um, this could be travel. Because this is, you know, wands are all about that action. Wow, see? I knew this wanted to come out. Look at the bottom of the deck. The wheel. It's your time, baby. Like, I, this seems so, like... I feel like you guys could be thrown off just because it seems like it's too good to be true. Like, there's something... And it's... This can be with love, but it could also be with, in. there's just something. It doesn't necessarily, like, take this how it, for whatever it is, something, it feels too good to be true, but I just feel like you'd be dealing with, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or an Aries. I just saw that. Whoa. Wow. Look, death in reverse. Something is being, like, resurrected, being brought back to life. There's a freaking baby. I don't feel pregnancy, but some of you guys could be pregnant. I don't. But I did feel like that there was something along those lines with Libra. So, and this always happens with me. Like one sign leads to the next. And I knew that I was going to do Libra, Scorpio, and Sag today. Or at least this week. I didn't think I was going to do them all in one day. But it's like, 
and you keep getting the fours this is like whatever this is this is like a love that you can't really let go of if this is somebody from your past because and i'm only saying that because death is in reverse like it's not over or it could be it with a past life six of one this is oh my gosh this is like this is what you want I really like this. I feel like all systems are a go. See, this is that stoplight thing that I kept getting. Who was I? Who was that? I don't know. Watch Libra and Sag, because I feel like this pertains to you guys. Again, could be dealing with a um with another Earth with with an Earth sign. Why did I say another Earth sign? Maybe you dealt with an earth sign and now like there's a new one stepping into your life. But this is definitely something new, something fresh. Wow, with the queen of wands, very passionate. You're, somebody is coming after you, they love you. Or this is you. I feel like this is you because you guys have so much passion. It's like, look at the bottom of the deck is the page of wands. Like it's catching, you're almost shocked by how you feel about somebody. Hold on. This doesn't seem like out of the ordinary for you guys just because of the way you guys love, like intimacy. Like look at how they're staring into each other's eyes. This is two people moving forward. Aww. This is definitely two people moving forward. Being on the same page, wanting, wanting to go in the same direction. I'm here for this reading. I am here for it. Yes, this is definitely some. I don't know why I stopped it here, but look, there's a celebration. This is a reconciliation. Oh, I feel wow. And I just heard it's crazy how the world looks different. And it is crazy because it's almost like wow, I almost like dropped the and look at what's under here the fool, like not a care in the world, like just wanting to just go for it. Oh. This feels like the, this feels so romantic. I'm here for this. Scorpio. Wow, Knight of Wands. Like, this is definitely, it's coming together. This makes me think of the card in this deck was like the Two of Wands. And look, they're doing the same thing. Look, all of the wands, they're doing that same thing. Like, it's like zoning in on one direction. Like, two people, again, these are two people deciding to go in the same direction together. <gasps> Meeting in the middle. Oh my God. Oh my God. And look at the bottom of the deck. The six of wands. Oh my gosh. You know what? When I, I think that's just how it's going now. Libra. Okay. You, you should watch those because in somewhere, some case, like it pertains to you because Scorpio did show up. My Scorpio cards did show up in their readings. So if this is someone from your past, it's like you guys are finally on the same page because there's equal give and take here. You guys are equally passionate about each other. Well, with the page, when I kept when I saw that, it was like having the idea like, I don't know. What about this crazy idea? Like. But then now taking action towards it and the two of you taking action towards one another. Hi, I just really love this. Give us something good. Scorpio. Let me deal with the Gemini Libra Aquarius. Wow. Wow. The fool. Oh my God. Okay, now I can see why y'all, okay, with the King of Wands at the bottom of the freaking deck and the Knight of Cups, like, so whoever this is, could be um, Aries Leo Sagittarius, I'm feeling like it's a Sag. The couple is here. But that's crazy, like, there's so many wands in this, and there, but the ultimate cup card is the ten of cups and you have the sun here like that's big you guys are equally passionate i just i want to leave it just like this like i don't even want to clarify just 
Okay. In the Libra read, I was saying like, you guys are at a crossword. C crossword. No, that is not what I said. I said you're at a crossroads. And look at the bottom is a grand cross. This is the provoker. This is, this is the card that implies swift changes are coming. And it's like, um, it's almost like the Nine of Wands. And I showed that to you in the beginning of this reading, like um, when I was shuffling. That's actually what I cut the deck on with the Nine of Wands. Um, and look, this makes me feel like Mars. So there's a lot of sexual energy. There's a lot, a lot of passion. And it's bringing you guys together. Like things are aligned. Like there's somewhere in your chart or even whatever is aligned right now. But it's definitely like aligning for the two of you. And you have Capricorn here, which is like the devil. This is like, that's that strong sexual desire that I'm feeling. I don't feel anything sinister about it. Like the three of pentacles, you guys are working together. Speaking on, you guys are on speaking terms where, and it's almost like, it's crazy how the world looks different. It's crazy how, remember like a couple months ago, we weren't talking at all. And now we're, just, it's like next level. Like it's a man who Sagittarius this is the victory this is that six of wands like uh, it's like you guys needed space at one point just for just to bring it together this is nice because you also have Saturn coming here oh my gosh it's like wham like one after the other like with Saturn here, it's like, you guys, it looks like a rainbow to me. Don't be afraid of Saturn energy. Like, Saturn solidifies the deal. This is like, oh, you ain't going nowhere. Oh, my God. This is intense. Like, I am here for this whole thing, honey. Oh, yeah, look. You have the King of Wands with the Knight of Cups and the King of Pentacles. Somebody got their money up. Wow, it's definite, like... Six of Wands. I do feel like some of you guys could be at a distance from each other or this is like, there's like a newfound focus. This is like amazing. I'm here for this. With the with the world though, like, yeah, it could be like you guys ending one phase and going into a new phase where it's like, whoa, this is so positive. Like, I don't even want to, let's, I don't know what else to say. I'm speechless and that's not usually like me. I do feel like um, you guys needed to separate to heal. There were things about you that had nothing to do with each other that needed its own attention and needed to handle it with care. Like, look at how she's holding the pearl. Like, it's very delicate. Like, you guys had your own things. I'm not going to say issues, but yes, issues. That you guys needed to wrap up to fix separately so that you guys could come together and decide to like I just I'm amazed at the two wands pointing into each other like that. And it's like you're really zoning in on one thing, like everything is coming together. Man. Something has come full circle. You might have been dealing with this for like the past year. Wow, okay, he just said, oh crap, something about uh, eventually you grow up. So you were, at one point, this person, was, this was like an on-again, off-again thing with the Knight of Wands being here. Again, when someone can be younger, when older, doesn't have to be, but or maybe just someone just acts a little bit more immature, just kind of in and out, wanting their freedom, but it's like you guys have reached a new level of understanding. Like again, I am keep gonna say, keep saying this. You guys are on the same page. Like this is wild. This is Scorpio, I am here. Let's see. Let's get one of these energy cards, and I'm gonna take things slow. Um, because there's so much fire here, there's so much passion. You don't want it to like boil over. 
but there's so much love here. There's so much understanding. I feel like the the two of you pour into one another in different ways. And even like with this um with this Aquarius card, like there's Saturn here too cuz Saturn is Aquarius is a traditional ruler. Um and please I know Uranus is, okay? But before Uranus was discovered, Saturn was the ruler, okay? But like there's two people like here in this card and it's just like the way this person looks at you the way you look at this person I can relate to the reading and all of the readings in some way shape or form and I know the person that I like <laughs> is a Venus and Scorpio I don't like him I love him and I love the way that he looks at me. Like, it's deep. Like, you're got, you guys got the Care Bear stare, okay? And I like it. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it, okay? With the root chakra, you're, um, I don't know, maybe your root chakra's on fire right now. Like, you are really, there's a lot of sexual chemistry here. Not, I mean, but it's on top of the love, so it makes it even more intense. Like, this is something that has, and this card isn't here, but this just came to mind, was the fire, the fire element card, which usually talks about something starting off quick. I feel like the way you guys met, it was kind of like this. And now it's almost like it's come full circle where it's back to this. I'm here. Look, even his wand is doing the same thing. I want to know, what, what are y'all pointing at? I feel like there was someone who had an attachment to something else and needed to let go of that. Oh my God, the sun is here. OMGZ. You're, if you're rethinking or overthinking, like don't just kind of like go with the flow of everything. Like what you have in front of you is beautiful. <laughs> Look at that, caring connections. <laughs> And I have all tied up at the in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Whoa. The man holding a coin. Like, there's a new value on this. Yeah, look. And then patience at the bottom of the deck. This person values you. They have reached a new understanding, I feel. I'm not my mom. I'd rather be with you. Oh. Yeah, this is like an, a spiritual with a seven here. There's like a spiritual connection. Obviously, we have the sun here, and that's the spirit card. <laughs> Somebody let their hair down. Somebody's comfortable. You guys are comfortable around each other. And I felt like it took you guys to be separate to come to that kind of realization. Like you almost took each other for granted in a way. Free spirit. <laughs> and I said, it's a spiritual connection. Like, I feel like you guys are coming to get, where's my book? Okay, I'm going to read this and then I'm going to let you guys go. Okay, true freedom is attained when one transcends the illusionary imprisonment of their mind. Where I told you guys you were overthinking it. This card represents the need to let go of limiting beliefs you hold within yourself. Beliefs regarding who you are and what you are capable of achieving. There are two types of beliefs. Beneficial beliefs, which encourage you to grow, and detrimental beliefs, which keep you in prison and bound by fear. These core beliefs lie in your subconscious and attract experiences that match your emanating frequency. So if your subconscious holds more detrimental beliefs, it is likely you will attract circumstances that match that energy. Don't match energies. I was just telling somebody about this the other day. Like, don't match energies. You you need to keep your frequency high. Rise above every single thing. If you find yourself attracting more roadblocks and hurdles, look within yourself and see what is what limiting beliefs uh, you hold inside. It is these beliefs that block you from living a more fulfilling life of manifest manifestation, inner freedom, and peace. If you were drawn to this card, spirit is encouraging you to look deeper within yourself and see what it is that is holding you back from living a more purpose-filled life. Do you harbor thoughts of not being good, worthy, or talented enough? 
what vibration are you sending out to the world to receive the roadblocks that you currently face? Remember that you that what you wish for in your life needs to be an exact match to the beliefs that are lying in your subconscious. If you are not in sync with each other, then it is most likely that your wishes may take a lot longer to manifest. What detrimental beliefs have you been holding on to all these years? Reframe and replace any detrimental beliefs uncovered with beneficial affirmations. And the prayer for this is great spirit assist me to understand and transcend any detrimental beliefs I may hold within myself. And the associated chakra is the root chakra. And I, I touched on that. So know that this takes me back to that other reading. Like know that you deserve this. You are worth it. Like you have an opportunity here to really expand on something great. Like something that was, that is here in alignment with you. So it's up to you whether you want to take this risk and breathe life into something that's being put placed in front of you. Because this is amazing right here. This seems so beautiful. So how you react to the situation, like you're going to set the atmosphere for this. So it's up to you whether you want to take this or not. Um, so yeah, Scorpio, I love this. I hope you do too. And I hope it resonated. If it does, comment, like, share, subscribe. If you want to book a personal reading, my information is in the description box below. I love, 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 love you guys. And I will um, talk to you guys soon.